Konnichiwa. Okay, you guys have chosen to make one of the beautiful geisha stamps. So geisha is this lady wearing a beautiful kimono. So you can decide exactly how you want your card to look. I've just been playing around, I've made a few different designs. But the most important thing for your design is to use this stamp. And I'm going to show you how to use it properly so that when you stamp it, it's going to look perfect and not smudged. All right, so when you start, um, what you want your card to look like. So what are the different elements that you're going to have? You might choose to have a little piece of origami paper on the side of your card like I've done here, or maybe you just want your geisha lady to be um, the center, the focus of your card. Maybe you want a background, maybe you don't. So there's lots of different ways that you can design your card. I've given you a few different materials in your little basket. Um, they might not be exactly what I've got here, but just see what you've got and how you'd like to design your card. When it comes to the stamping part, Make sure that you're working on some scrap paper so we're not getting ink on the table. Now the ink that I've given you, is this one here, um, and it is waterproof. Okay, so it's probably going to stain your clothes. We definitely don't want it to get on your uniform and try and avoid getting it on your, your hands. And we certainly don't want to get it on anybody else either. Take care with this ink. It is not, um, it's not a toy. All right, so when you open it, it's got a clever... Um, way that you can turn that lid underneath and it will sit flat on the table. So it's better to have it sitting flat rather than holding it or you're more likely to get it on your hands. When you are stamping with this ink, it's important to, um, to, to go gently with it. So hold the case of the, the ink pad with one hand and with your rubber stamp, you're going to gently tap that onto the ink pad and you can check to see if it's all covered yeah that looks pretty good and then on your piece of card or whatever you're doing um, with your card you're going to press it firmly down all right press it and lift it straight off and there you go you've got a beautiful clear stamp let me show you what not to do if you squish this around like, oh, I want to get lots and lots of ink on my stamps. I'm going to squish it, squish it, squish it, press really, really hard. And then you do that on your paper and you squish it, squish it and press it really hard. So I can see it's got on the edge of the rubber there and on the edge of the rubber there. And then it doesn't look that bad, this one. It's actually not too bad but it makes little messy edges and we want to avoid that so don't go squishing it all around just tap 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 checking it and then pressing it straight down now, i haven't tapped it again this time i'm just doing it for a second time because there was lots of ink on it and oh it made a very light version so you know you can think how um you know what's the effect that you want to have all right so that's the basics with um stamping take care with the ink when you finish with the ink close the lid we don't want it drying out we don't want fingers all over it share the stamp share the ink with people on your table all right so there will be some pieces of card cut up in your basket so let's try um, this is one option you could stamp onto a piece of card and then put it on a black background so let's do that. Tap, 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 tap. Happy with that. Try and put it in the center. Press it straight down. There we go. Looks lovely. And these um, black pieces of paper are already the perfect size to put your stamped image on. And if you put in the middle very evenly, it will have a lovely border around the outside. So using your glue stick, um, glue that on, and you could then put it on um, a colored piece, uh, a colored card like that, or it might work also with the 
bit of origami paper, trim that to size and and pop it on like that so the origami is a bit of a border so there's a few different ways you know whatever it is that you would like to do with it there was one um, you might like as well a little bow so let's have a look at that one tap tap on the ink pad and then maybe down in the corner here oops there we go little bow once you've done that, now because this is waterproof ink, you can actually um, color it in, um, even with textures, and it's not going to smudge. So let's have a look at how that looks. I mean, I think pencil looks very nice. Um, my sample here was colored in with pencil. It gives it a nice soft feel. Uh, let's see what it looks like with um, texture. Probably would go lighter colors rather than dark colors because the dark ones might cover up um, some of the detail got a soft pink one here okay it doesn't have a lot of strong color this one but that's that's something that you could try and see how the, the ink is not smudging because it's that permanent ink. Let's see if we do something a bit stronger. Maybe that stripy section, I can color it in blue. So think about the color combination um, that you want, what color card you've got, what color origami paper you've got and how you can blend them all in together so they look really pretty. All right, good luck with that project.